Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a talky type video and hopefully this will be helpful to some of you. Basically in this video I'm going to be telling you guys about my date piercing and the infection that I had on it. So about... Oh, eh. So basically about three weeks ago, my date piercing, which I have had for over a year now, I have a few videos on it in case any of you are curious. Um, I've had it for over a year now, so it's been somewhat healed for a couple months now, and about three weeks ago, I had a really, really severe infection on my date piercing. And I'm gonna, basically going to be talking about, you know, how I found out it was an infection, how I cured it, and how I was able to save the piercing, because this video, and the reason why I'm making a video on this is because this is one of the most severe ear piercing infections that I have ever had on any piercing I've ever had in my life. Obviously, when you do get piercings, you very, very much run the risk of getting an infection on them, whether, you know, you go to a bad shop, um, have improper jewelry, improper care, taking it out too early. It's not like a gross thing. That doesn't mean you're a gross person. It doesn't mean that you don't know how to take care of your piercings. Just sometimes infections just pop up, but, you know, that's not a death sentence. You don't have to take your piercing out, which I will get to in a minute because you should never do that if you have an infection anyway. But, you know, it's, it just happens. It's just the life of having piercings, basically. So it's nothing to be ashamed of, but that's why I'm making this video because this one was pretty bad to the point where I was in like excruciating pain. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to go to the hospital or not. It was just really, really severe. So I'm going to be talking about, you know, just all that stuff in general. So if you don't know what the date piercing is, first of all, it is this little piece of cartilage inside the ear basically right below where your rook is, that thicker part, that is where the date piercing is and that is where mine is located. I will show you up close views and pictures and all that good stuff as the video goes on. So, let's get right into it. Um, Basically about three weeks ago, I was, you know, my sister was staying here and, you know, we were just kind of hanging out or whatever and one night we were laying in bed and out of nowhere, like, and this was the craziest thing to me, just out of nowhere, my date piercing started to hurt really, really bad. And I thought maybe, I was like, oh, maybe I accidentally twisted it so like the bottom of the heart was poking into my ear. So I try to like move it around and I get it to a point where it's like comfortable again, but it was still in such excruciating amounts of pain and I had no idea why. So I kind of just blow it off for the night. I'm just like, ah, oh, maybe it's just, you know, acting up, being sore, whatever. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, the next morning is when things started to get a little bit more serious and that's when I kind of knew something really bad was going on with my piercing because when I woke up, you could actually see, like just looking in the mirror like this straight on, you could literally see this side of my face completely and totally swollen. Like it was really bad. And I was like, okay, this is definitely not right. So basically I got my camera out because I can't see fully inside all the crevices and stuff. So I got my camera out and I just snapped a few pictures of it and I got my mirror and I was looking at it. And I did take pictures of all of this stuff. So if you are grossed out, then I'll, I'll warn you when it's coming. But I did take a few pictures of what the infection looked like. It was pretty freaking gnarly. The whole inside of my ear right here was beet red. Like, it was like red, red. And I was like, okay, that's not good. I could feel heat radiating off of my ear with just my hand this far away. I could feel heat. And I was like, okay, not a good sign. Then I looked back on the pictures that I had took to see what was going on in here. And that's when I knew I had a, an infection. And um, another thing is that my actual date right here was, it was like three times the size. It was absolutely huge. So, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, 
it's pretty safe to say that this is really severely infected and you know I tried to figure out you know what could have possibly caused the infection maybe you sleeping on like a pillow that hadn't been washed in a while or maybe playing with it too much because I do have a bad habit of that not gonna lie and I just I couldn't really pinpoint what it was from but it could have been from a number of things just you know bacteria um, another thing I thought of is at my work we have a drive-thru and I wear the headset on my right ear and you know that headset everyone wears it you know there's makeup on it from all the girls who work there so I'm thinking did maybe the drive-through headset you know the bacteria from that get into my piercing and cause an infection so that was another thing that I figured maybe it was from because there was literally nothing else I could think of that could have possibly caused an infection this bad I was like okay Let's get this taken care of immediately. So the very first thing I did is I took two ibuprofen for the swelling because the swelling was so out of control, it was ridiculous and I was in so much pain. By about the third or fourth day of the infection, I was just, I wanted to die. Like I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to go to the hospital. I was in so much pain, it was really bad. And this part of my face, even all the way down to my cheek area and even in my teeth, it was sore. Like if I went like this, it hurt. All because of an ear piercing infection. And that's when I started to freak out. And I was like, holy shit, you know, what if I didn't notice it quick enough? What if it's going up into my brain? Holy fuck, this is not good. Like I started freaking out. The next thing that I did is I took about six ice cubes, wrapped it in paper towel, not a not a regular like hand towel because that just has more bacteria on it. Just regular paper towel, paper towel and sat it on my ear for a good on and off for about an hour and a half just to you know kind of minimize the pain and the swelling but oh my gosh you guys I don't think I have ever been in so much pain from an infection before besides my upper helix when I got that it got infected for maybe about like six months after I got it done but I mean it hurt but it wasn't anything like serious my day piercing however getting infected I wouldn't wish that on anybody. That was excruciating pain. It was just awful. Um, so after I would, um, you know, kind of ice it, and then after, you know, the swelling kind of went down, um, I went into the bathroom and I ran my hot, hot water as hot as I could stand it, like to the point where I was like, ah, fuck. That's how hot I got it. I took my non-iodized sea salt and I made my little solution, filled the cup up with that hot water, and I took a Q-tip and I let it drip on top of my date piercing. And the reason for that is because sea salt is a really good natural way of cleaning your piercings. It is how I clean all of my piercings personally. Um, I've been using it for years and I love it. And you know, obviously I've had my date piercing for so long that I didn't really need to clean it with sea salt solution because I've had it for a very long time now. It wasn't necessary at that point. But when you notice a piercing starting to act up like that, that's when I take my sea salt back out and start to use it again, um, just because it really does help. Another thing that I've been using that has helped greatly, and I don't usually recommend this for piercings, however, it really, really did help my date piercing, and that's hydrogen peroxide. I did also use a Q-tip and let it drip on the piercing as well. I used that a couple times, especially when the infection broke open, which we will get to, trust me, there's even pictures. I just feel like that really it felt good on my piercing first of all especially since it would start to fizzle it just felt really soothing on the piercing and also it kind of killed all that bad bacteria but then again it's not the best thing to use because hydrogen peroxide can also kill good bacteria which you need the good bacteria to help heal an infection like that but I did use a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and I found that it helped out greatly so those are the two things that I did I would sea salt soak it put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, um, leave it for a bit. Later that night, I'd take a shower, rinse everything off. After that, put a little bit more hydrogen peroxide on. Now, this may seem overkill to a lot of you, but to me, this is what helps me personally. I'm not trying to give you advice. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just simply telling you how I healed my really, really severe Date piercing infection. That's basically kind of what I did on and off, and it took a total of about 
maybe a week and a half to two weeks to fully get the infection under control. As of right now, my date piercing is 150,000% better. I can move it again. It's not infected. It's not irritated. Nothing like that. Um, so yeah, after doing all of this stuff on and off, you know, icing it, ibuprofen, sea salt, hydrogen peroxide, antibacterial soap, just on and off doing that routine is when I noticed that it was time for the infection to start draining. Now, if you looked at the picture that I had already showed, um, and before I get into that, I just wanna say, if you have any sort of infection on any of your piercings, do not, do not take out your piercing. Leave the jewelry in, keep the piercing open. Because if I were to take out my date piercing, if I were to take out the jewelry while it looked like that, the infection would have gotten deeper into my ear, the piercing would have closed up and the infection would get trapped. Not good. Always keep your piercing jewelry in, keep it open so that way the infection can drain out. I don't care what doctors say. Doctors always say, oh, you need to take that out. Fuck that. Don't ever take it out. Leave it in. So yeah, I kept my jewelry in. As you can see, those two bubbles at the very top, that's when I knew it was ready to drain. And what I mean by that is I popped the infection. Now, I know you're not supposed to do that. However, I did it. The reason being, I couldn't take the pain anymore. I could tell, I mean, the, it was healing, but it was still there. So, okay, <clears throat> now, I'm not telling you to do this, but this is just what I did. So don't get all up my ass, piercers out there, like chill your ass. Basically, I took my hot sea salt solution, and what I did is I tilted my head like this, and I took the Q-tip with the hot sea salt solution on there, and I pressed. All I did, I just pressed on the very top of the piercing and I felt a, I felt a pop. All of a sudden, and I do have a picture of this as well, I will show you that, I could literally see the dark brown yellow pus coming out of my piercing and down my neck. It was so bad, I couldn't even, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, honestly. Then I did it to the bottom, took my hot Q-tip with my sea salt solution, put it on the bottom, press down on it with the hot water, all of a sudden, heard another pop, more yellow brown pus came out. That's another thing how I knew it was infected was because of the color of the pus that was coming out of it. And another really crazy thing that happened is um, after it had drained a little bit, I could still see something sticking out of my piercing. Like it was really, really bizarre. I had no idea what I was looking at. And you know, I tried taking pictures to see what it was. I tried moving my ear to see what it was. So I take a Q-tip and I just wet it a little bit and I wipe the piercing in this huge, and I have a picture of it, this huge thing of brown pus comes out of my piercing. It was the most disgusting thing I have ever seen. Here's a picture. So as you can see, that is what I freaking took out of the top of my piercing. I was like, what the fuck? Like how did it, I have no idea how it got so bad, but it was bad. So after I did that, um, the only thing I did is I just rinsed my ear off with some water, um, took another ibuprofen, and then I put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on and it started to fizzle up, which I do have a picture of as well. So after the I got the infection to completely drain out of my ear and I got it all cleaned up, basically for the next week, I did my regular sea salt solutions once a day. Once before I went to bed, I would quickly clean it with my sea salt solution and then go to sleep just once a day for that week and the infection was able to heal up on its own. Now, about three weeks later, it is totally back to normal and I will go ahead and show you a close up of what it looks like because it looks so much better and I'm so glad to have it back. So here's what my my day's piercing looks like now after the infection has totally healed up so it is it is in a much better place now it looks a ton better much healthier sorry my ears turning red because I keep playing with it but yep 
There it is. So that's basically the very horrendous story of my day piercing infection video. If you, if any of you out there who, you know, have a piercing infection right now on any of your piercings, try to really stick with sea salt soaks and ibuprofen and icing it and also keeping a close eye on it. If you feel like like I said, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital because of the amount of pain I was in. Like I've never in my life have been in so much pain from an infection before ever. So if you at all feel lightheaded, sick, dizzy, anything at all and you have an infection, that's when I would probably go to the hospital just in case because you don't know if that infection might have spread to different parts of your body. Um, luckily I was able to get it under control quick enough to the point where I didn't have to go, but I feel like I could have definitely done something about it sooner. That's another thing too is if you notice any of your piercings are getting infected of any way, shape, or form, take care of them the minute you notice it because the longer you let it sit there, the worse it's going to get and the worse the recovery is going to be. So I hope you guys found this sort of interesting and helpful and how I kind of took care of my infection. Then hopefully it was helpful. Like I said, I am not not giving advice. I'm not giving piercing advice. I am not a professional piercer. I have a lot of experience with piercings and I like to share my knowledge about them, but that does not make me a professional. Always go see your professional piercer. Don't ever go to a random person on the internet. That's just not smart. Come on guys, use your heads. So yeah, I hope you guys found this sort of interesting and helpful. I hope the pictures didn't gross you out too, too much, but yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed, give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. But until then, and of course, I will see you all very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.